Hi, my name is Ashish Gadness, and I'm the co-founder and CEO of BankQ, which is a for-profit, for-purpose software as a service company that is built on blockchain, but without cryptocurrency. So what do we do? We solve one of the most fundamental problems in the emerging markets in the last mile, where there's a lot of extreme poverty, gender inequality. And what is that problem? It's very simple to explain. If you look at global brands today that procure raw materials of finished goods, so coffee, cacao, jeans, diamonds, cobalt, what you'll find at the end of that supply chain, either on the sourcing side or the distribution side, is a poor farmer or a poor artisanal miner or a garment factory worker in Bangladesh. And in all of those cases, there are millions and millions and millions of people working in extreme poverty in these global supply chains, but they're completely invisible. And the reason why they're invisible is because they cannot prove their existence in the global supply chain. Yet we, as consumers, buy an $8 latte thinking it's fair trade and go home feeling good about the world. But that's not the case for that mother farmer because she continues to grow your crops, yet she's completely invisible. So that's the problem we have solved. What BankQ has done over the last four and a half years is build an end-to-end -end supply chain software that not only gives full traceability transparency to global brands, beer companies, coffee companies, tobacco companies, big global banks, in a way that they know who is in their supply chain value chain, both on the sourcing side and the distribution side. And it makes their brand profitable because they have a much more streamlined supply chain. They know where their product is at any given time. And the purpose part of it is very easy to explain. Because every time a mother farmer is connected in the supply chain, a waste picker that's picking up bottles or cardboard or plastic on the streets of Bogota, through BankQ, each one of these people in the last mile, first mile, start building their economic history. We call it the economic passport. That economic passport validates their existence in that global supply chain. Without that identity, without that economic passport, they're yet another number. But with BankQ, now over the last four and a half years, we've proven for thousands of people in the last mile and first mile that they do exist in a very normal transactional way because a mother farmer who grows good crop should be bankable. A waste picker on the streets of Colombia that's picking up bottles should be bankable. And there's no reason why we should refuse their economic passport. So what BankU has done is solve something that nobody had ever done before which is give global brands the ability to have a very traceable, transparent, auditable supply chain, but at the same time, ensure that the first mile and last mile has equal rights. Because at the end of the day, these hardworking people deserve to own their data. They deserve to be able to say, I exist in this supply chain because I grow your coffee, I make your jeans, I'm mining your cobalt that you're using in your iPhone. So that's what BankQ does. And I'm happy to say that four and a half years later, we're live in 41 countries. Over half a million people are using our platform and global brands like ABN Bev, Japan Tobacco, Nestle, Islamic Development Bank are using it every day because it gives them that sustainability view. It ensures their supply chain is traceable and at the same time allows them to meet their UN SDG goals. Thank you.